Hello guys, so today we're going to look into uh, the defending in PES 2020. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is uh, take a look at the game plan because defending, unlike attacking, is really a uh, teamwork effort. You cannot do it alone with attacking, you can still do it alone using your creativity. But uh, defending, it must be a teamwork. It's gotta be uh, the shape of your formation and your positioning to stop uh, the opponent from attacking because your aim, your target, your objective when defending is uh, to prevent the opponent from scoring a goal. So that uh, will come from a shot. So you want to block shots and that also can come from a cross. So you want to clear any cross coming to the penalty box. So let's take a look at the general uh, layout, the general formation in this uh, past 2020 and football in general. The first one, we have Liverpool and Arsenal here because, uh, well, Liverpool have Van Dijk who is currently probably the top defender in the Premier League, probably the world. And Liverpool have uh, four uh, defensive line here and Arsenal have five so I can show you guys how both works so basically if you can see the list here you have two center backs or three center backs that is the usual way football is played I think that is good enough there's no need for five center backs because uh, the, your midfielder and your fullback will come help you so let's take a look at this uh, default Liverpool formation you have two center backs and uh, Fabinho is a defensive midfielder who will drop down to help the two center backs then you have uh, two fullback on the left and right in Robertson and Arnold to cover the wide areas usually in uh, modern football you have uh, only one striker previously you can see a lot of true striker at the top like uh, in this Liverpool formation you have uh, Roberto Firmino the sole striker supported by two wingers in this Arsenal team also you have uh, one striker in Lacazette and supported by two wingers so usually uh, your two center backs will only have to cover for one striker so that striker can slip past through your two center backs and will cause some confusion between the two uh, whether Van Dyke or Gomez want to mark him so usually you need a defensive midfielder to cover that spot usually your defensive midfielder will drop down and cover this space in between the two center backs because the center backs will cover this part and also until the left of the edge of penalty box and J Gomez will cover this this part with uh, Alexander Arnold so your fullback will cover the, the wing for any crossing opportunities same at this side so that's the basic of it so if you want to change your formation make sure you have if you want to use two center backs make sure you have a defensive midfielder to help your center backs to make things easier for you to defend all right for arsenal here the same idea but instead of having a defensive midfielder to drop down you have another defender to plug this uh, gap so as you can see 
by doing that the uh, striker will be covered by him and any uh, cut, uh, run inside cutting from the winger will be covered by the both center backs besides him like that will be covered by van dyke because usually the fullback will also come up to help give some more numbers at the attack so usually your fullback will cover the the opponent fullback instead so this winger will be free and this need to be covered by the center backs so when he come for this winger the striker will have a space between these two, uh, two center backs Van Dijk and Gomez so need another center back to cover that or a defensive midfielder to drop down and help so let's change it again oops it's got a bit mess up here alright so your center midfielder jobs is basically to stop any shot from outside well not actually stop but to close down and prevent any shot so you will, they will also drop down and any shot from the uh, uh, the opponent uh, midfielder like in Arsenal example here is Xhaka and Ceballos usually when they come to attack they will stay in between the penalty box and the half line here so when the striker cannot get into the penalty box they probably will pass it to center midfielder to take a shot or maybe they can go out wide then pass it back inside to the midfielder to take a shot so this is the role for the center midfielder to cover them for to prevent the shot from be taken but if the shot is managed to be taken then the job of the center back is to block that shot that's why more center backs inside the penalty box is better to cover any long shots to deflect the shots so in this case Arsenal have an opportunity to block the shots but we still have a defensive midfielder to help both of them so that's why Klopp likes that kind of setup because he still want to have a good possession of the ball so that's why they play with 4-2 4 3 3 instead of like Arsenal here 5-2-3. But David Lewis, I think he goes up a bit into the midfield. He is an offensive centre back. So let's take a look at some of the other formation. You see here 4-2-3-1. This is a bit more uh, attacking formation because when you do this usually this defensive midfielder either Henderson or Fabinho will come down but one will st stick up will still will still stay here in the middle to block the center midfielder so he will be overwhelmed if uh, the opponent have two midfielder they don't know which one to mark because usually money here the attacking midfielder will stay just here and Salah and Wijnaldum will probably help cover the uh, fullback the open fullback right uh, back and left back Alexander Arnold will probably cover the edge of the box here to prevent any cross probably will guard the winger together with 
the center backs so it is a bit of an attacking uh, formation if you use to midfielder instead of having three midfielder like let's see I have to change back default let's see like this is quite okay more offensive uh, formation that's still okay the basic that you want is these three guys this is if you want to defend well you can still play like this if you want to be more offensive and score more goals you don't care about getting scored at but if you want to defend well then you need these three then you can put your offensive player anywhere you want obviously if, if you want to block long shot you want uh, to send a midfielder to help but if you okay you don't care with uh, the long shot then you can manage with this I guess these three so basically this three is going to crowd the penalty box that's the basic stuff and your right back will cover the wing with the help of a center back and this three job is to clear any crosses in I think that's it for formation uh, just keep in mind to have two center backs and a defensive midfielder or have three center backs then you can put any other player anywhere you want all right let's take a look at the defensive instruction next uh, usually when you watch uh, real life football the way people defend they have frontline pressure and all out defense and if you can see uh, like Liverpool they play frontline pressure but I think in the game in this game past 2020 uh, forcing an error from the opponent is a bit hard I think it's counterintuitive to use uh, frontline pressure it's better if you use all-out defense this way you can uh, win the ball in your half and then launch a counter because if you use frontline pressure usually the shape of the opponent formation will still be intact and it'll be hard to for you to break down their defense but you can still i don't know gain possession in their half but i think it's not that good of a strategy so let's use all out defense it's better overall for your defending and your attacking then this one for containment area we have middle and wide you can see here for middle form a defensive web that cuts out all avenues for forward passes then force opposing players toward the middle where the team can defend in numbers so this is a good one because um, your formation usually uh, have a defensive midfielder and two center midfielder so you have three at the uh, center here so if you force them to play uh, in the center in the middle they will have to uh, go through this tree but if they go play white they only have to deal with Robertson with the fullback so only one player so it'll be easier I think for them to do that so it's better to use middle let's see if it's white when defending Shepard opposing plays out white then defend in numbers when they try to play forward pass uh, yes with this white also I think the 
the formation will drag a bit like that if they play on this side the ball on this side it will drag a bit like this usually you can also see this in uh, real life football so usually you can you can see a lot of space here for the opposing side winger so they will launch a crossing ball like that so it's not that effective i think to defend you basically want them to want to invite them to your to your side and uh, prevent any shot block block the shot and clear any cross just let them do their stuff it's okay but let them do them ineffectively that's the key let them do it but not effective so let's take this to middle for pressure you have aggressive and conservative basically uh, for aggressive your player will be more closer to the opponent while conservative will be be a bit further this is uh, more a uh, matter of a preference you can use either one see how it affect yeah, the style of your gameplay aggressive I think is more for frontline pressure because you want your player to chase the ball let's stick with conservative because we want to invite their players in for defensive line you don't want to put it at the maximum or the minimum if you can see here at uh, the minimum you can see this two center backs is outside of the penalty box but it's not actually the case when the opponent is attacking the two center backs will be will drop much uh, deeper towards your goalkeeper will be so much closer so there'll be a lot of space for the forwards to work inside the penalty box so you don't want that at the maximum there will be a lot of space for true pass so you also don't want that so take a middle ground either here or here somewhere like here is okay you want the center backs to be as close as possible at the edge of the penalty box so that uh, any passes coming towards them uh, there will be an opportunity for offside okay so for compactness I prefer uh, playing a compact uh, formation this you can see in real life football too parking the bus and uh, also you want to prevent any shooting opportunities uh, in this area let the opponent uh, cross the ball into the penalty box then you can use your number to clear the ball out if you can see here this is I think just a bad uh, compactness to use so just use compact like here or here I usually use here the middle ground all right so the final one we have advanced instruction let's take a look at the defense first you have Gagan press here for Liverpool because this is the clock strategy usually this is good for frontline pressure uh, the player will chase the ball more uh, frequently more intensely uh, but you have to remember this will eat at your stamina very quickly so be aware of that to turn uh, it off and turn it back on when uh, it is required use your judgment when to use it maybe 10 minutes on 10 minutes off all right so next one we have wing back so basically your wide midfielders or wingers will drop back to cover defensively 
Uh, I usually don't use this because I want to conserve the stamina of my wingers. I need them to run when uh, I'm doing encounter attack. So be aware of it, their stamina uh, will drop a lot when you use this for your wingers. But this uh, option is good if you want to bring more numbers at the wing to prevent any crossing. But this is uh, not how I play. I usually uh, want them to go to that wing so I don't need this option to be turned on. So for type marking, I definitely do not recommend it because it will mess up with the shape of your formation. You want to maintain the shape of your formation and let the opposing team work through it. And this type marking also, usually people will use it for the forwards to prevent them from shooting but I definitely not recommend that because it will open the space up in that penalty box if you definitely want to use this then use it for the midfielder but don't do this don't use type marking that's bad so the next one we have deep defensive line i'm not recommending this too because as we talked before uh, the two center backs we don't want them to be close to the goalkeeper we want them to be as close as to the edge of penalty box because we don't want to give space for the opposing strikers to work with but if this option is used uh, it definitely will help with the numbers of players inside the box because you have uh, your midfielder your center midfielder coming down drop down into the penalty box but it's a mediocre option i think so don't use this so the next one is swarm the box this complements well with our combat strategy this will bring a lot of bodies into the penalty box your midfielder will join your center backs and uh, this one is good because we want to uh, deflect uh, the shots taken by the opposing team and we have more players inside the box to clear any cross into the penalty box so let's take this one swarm the box uh, the other one is counter target for counter target certain forwards stay in the vicinity of the opposition box rather than dropping back to help the defense it means that these forwards do not use up energy running back and forth so basically this one if usually the forwards will stay upwards nonetheless this one if you want one other player to be uh, at the top two when you counter attack so you can put uh, to leader of your winger this is a good if uh, you want to play counter attack so let's put counter attack target to Salah I think that's it for mark settings I usually don't use any because I think the movement of the player is quite good but you can uh, experiment with this that Van Dyke got Laka like that if you want two players guarding the center backs you also can but this will leave the other player open so I usually don't use this you can experiment nonetheless so that's it for tactics you also can go to support setting here to turn on the auto offset trap to help you with that alright so that's it for the philosophies of defending and the settings available in patch 2020 i hope you guys can uh, try this out and see how it affects your game i hope you can improve your game and i will be doing uh, one more video on this a full match let's see how well can i do to showcase this uh, tutorial that i've shown you here so be sure to check that out later and until then i'll see you guys in the next one